Live for those who miss it can always go to our YouTube page where I said to subscribe and like and share our YouTube page also. So if you miss the literature of this plant where we are gonna give out, you can always go to the YouTube page. And you know YouTube now you can wind to the spot where you want with a five minutes or ten or twenty or hour. You know you can um listen to where you miss out on and this session, I you know some people busy on them phone, some people maybe are cook same way, some people are looking for go a party, you know, so you can always find it on our YouTube page. Our YouTube link is on our TikTok page. You just go and touch it and it carry right to the YouTube page. We ask you to subscribe and like it. So we make a jump in at this session of question and answer and this plant as we are talking about we say um we call it mimosa pudica mimosa pudica or what we call them shima maca all right so one of the first things we see come up for shima maca is spines that is emerald for people who have emerald we call pile that is when you have that big swelling inside of your rectum yeah, and it constipated and it bleeds sometimes. Shima maca is good for that. Also, yes, yeah, so Shima maca good for pile, now that you know. And as we say, pile is a swollen vein inside the anus, or a group of veins in the region of the anus, blood vessel in the oral era or the anal era, swell up. And become very sore from straining during bowel movements. Pregnancy overweight or swelling discomfort. So most people always make the piece of the leaf and apply it to the affected part or apply the leaf juice to the wound of the pies. That is some methods they usually use. Also a cup of the leaf juice of shame or lady once a day or three times a day is good so that's a shame old lady you could make a cup of the juice and you take three cups that is the green juice of the shima maca some people grind the leaf and stamp and apply the paste to any effective part twice a day it is also good for premature ejaculation in males, we're talking about mimosa pudica. Some of them research and I forgot about them, so sometimes I do this now, I kind of remember. Some of them study it. Very good for pre ejaculation. Juice is good to drink for the pie. Mimosa Pudica. So, I'm going to go down some more. It's very good for pre ejaculation. If you grind the leaf and stem and apply it to a, that is the pile, and then also drinking the tea is good for pre ejaculation. Alright, so it's also. 30 ml of the leaf juice as like a chlorophyll is good for diabetes people you can have that twice a day for diabetic people yes very effective plant I forgot about it long time ago it's also the juice is also good for people with asthma and also the juice is also good for people having a lot of itch and you know, when you have diabetes, it sometimes can scratch and itch you a lot. This is very effective to drink as a juice. You give us some likes and just tap your phone, just tap your phone. We ask you to follow the page and like the page. And also, you can also subscribe to the YouTube page that is on the TikTok page. Also, we're looking at asthma. The juice, like 15 ml of the juice of the mimosa pudica, which is the shema maca, is good to drink at least 
15 ml of the juice, you know, for maybe at least 15 days. We're talking about the mimosa. Put it because everybody knows shame old lady. All right? Also, for itching, as we say, you can drink it if your skin itch you. For diabetes, for pre ejaculation. Also, because of the potassium sulfate, is a very good skin food. It can crush the whole plant and make a decoction and wash the affected area for people who have skin disease. Blood pressure. Extract the juice from the leaves of Shea every day. And you can drink 15 ml twice a day. That is for people with um, blood pressure and also diabetes and also asthma. Insomnia is basically when you can't sleep. You can crush like a five grams of the leaf of the shameful lady and make a paste and boil it in a cup of water strain drink at night for 15 days as we say we are going to share this live we are going to save this live to our youtube page so we ask you to go to the youtube page click on it like it and subscribe to it and share it we will be sharing this live on our YouTube page. If you don't hear where you want, hear I may talk too fast, you can always go to that page and subscribe and listen and you will hear all that I speak about Shimo Lady, what we call Mimosa Pudica. So the juice is good for blood pressure, the leaf juice, skin disease, itching, the same juice, asthma, good for piles, people who have emeride, and also premature ejaculation, also diabetes. Sensitivia, what we call mimosa pudica, is a catalyst plant. So, knowing it, most catalysts work on adrenal glands, those are the two glands that sit and and the kidneys to speed up the process of healing so mimosa pudica is one of them plant it is an adrenal plant so it's good for sleeping also as we say good for pies you can take like two cups a day at the green juice right yes also, you can take two tablespoons of the juice and put it in a warm coconut milk. Yes. And you know, you take like a cup a day for three months. That has some other benefit that it have. We could go down some more and some more of the literature of it. This is what you call also a sedative. We could look upon the high blood pressure Yes, you can drink like 15 ml of the green juice for high blood pressure. Alright, so we could look. Mimosa pudica is a powerful sedative. So it helps you to sleep. In other words, it's what they call um, melatonin. The green juice, just get the juice, blend them in the water and drink the raw juice. Yes. Um, and as we say, it's a powerful sedative, meaning it calms down the nerves. Sedative is like a tranquilizer. It's a substance that induces sedation by reducing irritability or excitement, meaning it depresses the central nervous system. That's what it does. The press. The CNS. Make you sleep. Sedative. All right, it is another emetic I think emetic is about vomiting up or throwing up what them call it 
I'm going to look on it, make sure. Emetic. Yes. It induce vomiting if you want vomit and can't vomit. You drink mimosa, pudica, woka, shima maka. And you make your carry up the garbage out of your system. Also, very good for tumor in the brain. Also, for people under the breast. Antidepressant. Yes. Also, for hopelessness. You, you can imagine it's very good for hopelessness. Inadequacy and mental disturbance. Very good for mental disturbance. We're talking about mimosa. Purika. For people who have mental issue, is a good tea to drink. Leave use in pillow for inducing sleep. Yes, induce sleeping. Somebody come here and say them can't sleep. So if you die, this is a good plant. Can use this plant with also um, another plant we call name um, passion flower. Also valerian root, vervine. These are central nervous system depressant plant that calm the nerves. The warm root piece is plastered with you know plastered with help of the cloth to boil. Yeah, put that on the boil, the warm root. The piece of the root also with castor oil apply and deep cut wound to stop bleeding. Yeah. So it not only works as a sedative but also as an astringent. The piece of the root with them the frightening of the castor oil or the castor oil and apply it to deep cut wound to stop bleeding and to get it healed. The warm leaf piece is applied around what I'm call um, for, for furnicles. That is like another something similar to abscess. Also in abscess and boils, because of the sulfur content with it, be good for boils and abscess, furnicles, which is the piece, the warm piece, the warm leaf. You know, you can pound it into a piece and put it on abscess and boil. Yes, to burst them and to release the pus. The leaf paste is applied and the burst boils and itches for a quick cure. The paste of the root fried in, in castor oil is applied to carries and teeth for relief from toothache. The leaf paste is applied to decay and crumbling of the, to the teeth and bone. So. It have calcium phosphate, which is a bone food, so it is very good also for your heart and for your teeth. Yes. Also, them tight around the forehead to get relief from headache. Mm -hmm. Dysentery, leprosy, arthritis, leukodermia, blood disease, jaundice urine problems and blood disease again arthritis you can drink a cup of tea from the leaves yes of the shame old lady that is just a few what I call say, um, benefit that we know so far that it give we know say it give far more than that if you go like um like PubMed, it's a whole gamut of history pertaining to this plant. What we call him Mimosa Pudica. So, if you miss anything right here on it, go to the YouTube page where I will post it again, and then you can just um, watch it. Subscribe to the YouTube page and just make sure say so you watch it again if you miss anything. You can have a whole volume of powerful benefit for your body. No joke thing when it comes to discipline. It is super powerful like that. When we say powerful, I mean 
I could look at something in um, PubMed, PMC, and see exactly. Um, it is also good for anti venom, like fat leg or scorpion bite or snake. Yes. Which is pharma, um, pharmacological profile. This is a pharmacological profile, antibacterial, anti venom, anti fertility. No, I'm mean, not telling you, know, say, only oh, forgot to take it for dash of belly, you know, no, no, do that. No, and that type, when we say anti fertility, I think in a man, woman, please don't drink it for that purpose. And that may I deal with anti convulsant, I could look for anti convulsant. Um, benefit again just to make sure uh, come on come on come on come on all right so um anticonvulsant are anti oh epileptic yes that uh, control your your brain yes so anticonvulsant is anti-epileptic serious making of seizure yes so in other words it protect the brain it protect your brain what else could you want you want your brain to get protection also, antidepressant and aphrodisiac for men who are pre ejaculation. It strengthens your libido. That is the reality. And various other pharmacological, pharmacological activities. The herb has been used traditionally for ages in the treatment of urogenital. I could make a note, which is the, the male or the female reproductive system, your genital issues. So your, your, your genital disorders, both male and female, are also um, piles, as we talk about pile, dysentery, which is like blood in the urine. I think the urogenital operation is because of it slowed down the sperm so I'm not coming out of the man so fast or so quick. You know, some man in a yes for putting and then she got mash up in thing. You want a ball with a sword and then can't rise again to the occasion. That's it. <laughs> also for sinusitis, and as we said, apply to wound. Yes. As we go along some more, we can say, um, as we say, vomiting, it kind of induce vomit. Been used traditionally in the treatment of various ailments, including alopecia. Those are people who are losing hair. If you hear a drop out, something will drink right around the clock. Diarrhea, dysentery, insomnia, tumors, and various urogenital infections. So if you know you have, um, in the form of virus, it is good also for that purpose. Present with some very powerful chemicals like alkalis and amino acids, flavonized, glycosides, sterile, terpenides, tannins, fatty acid. These are things if you want to study them. Um, we could check out some more. Da da dee dee dee. But in terms of benefit for your body, trust me, the, the knowledge I can have done. I am looking at a wide complex of research, but they may deal with more the biological dogma. We take another two hours for going on. <laughs> so we're going to leave it. Um, if you finish up, I should say, they might give um, the whole breakdown. So I think what we just talked about is good. It's cytoskeleton that are uh, like scans. I could look on this word, cytoskeleton, but skeleton 
I always deal with bone and sight and normal I think them deal with um, um cancer cytoplasma of many living cells well I'm gonna check on something well like we have the word um right, translate it to Google I like could say cytoskeleton we we'll have to make sure so cytoskeleton of a cell is made up of microtubes acting filaments and intermediate filaments these structures give the cell its shape and help organize the cell's part in addition to provide a basis for movement and cell division okay so in other words inter interlinking 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 cytoplasmic mm -hmm. that is nothing bad that is pure goodness right there so we just read in other words in pulvinous motor cells when they talk about motor motor ataxia which is not good but motor itself is the brain so because the adrenal glands them as we said this plant is a catalyst plant it speed up things and speed up healing and make your body function much good because of the motor skill they give you back a control of your electrical system so the motor cells is response to electrical signal resulting in increased level of calcium in the brain which is good very wonderful so we are talking about mimosa pudica and we want everybody to go look for it and just drink it as tea or you make it as a green juice and drink it that is just good the same way maybe it even act much faster when you drink it in a small dose like 15 ml two or three times a day and it works yes you see we find out them keep on the talk about electrical benefits and motor coordination that is your head very good for the, the diabetes and high blood pressure all right them going into some deep research now very deep this is deep Mm -hmm. Try to penize, flavonoids, glycosides, alkalides, quinines, phenols, tannins, saponins, cumarins, damn. Monometlite, inosystal, and in time you may heard of penal, epiphrine. Once you hear them, you know, say they gone deep. They, but they show you these are chemicals were inside, um, like what they call crocetin. A demental ester tannins. Wow. The hydroxy benzac acid. Them that are the chemical where them got they don't like use the word um mineral. So them going at the chemical them and then you want to know what them chemical they have to take on 15 20 minutes to break down one word. You know quantitatively the total lipid composition of the plant is similar to that of reported photosynthesis tissue. So, coming right now, chloroplast lipids show some resemblance of those in algae. So, algae is another sea plant. So, cerebral side fraction of both leaves and polysaturated fatty acid. That is, they will matter about long chain polysat um, polysaturated acid. And when them call spingo sign base, but them they are biological world. We are dropping them. We don't want to go too deep because we don't understand them sitting there. Me just having in my spare time, I dig down in them for you understand a little bit much better what they are trying to say. That's I kind of a little thorough knowledge of these words. Takes so much time for you understand them. But in other words, it's a brain, thoracic system, and abdominal cavity plant. And what we like about it is the catalyst benefit on the adrenal glands and your two sides of your kidney. And also the aphrodisiac quality in both males and females. Um, I think we're going to leave it there, sir. For um, mimosa, put it because we say 
you can go to the page and um, go to the TikTok page and you can also touch on the YouTube page, YouTube link and then if you miss this live you can go right there and watch it again. Now we could just go one little more. The wound healing activity is great for people who get cut a deep wound cut. It is great for us, you know, use the leaf and pound them and pad it on to the, 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 the cut. Also, people with sciatic nerves damage, and you know, so the pain where you're feeling a hip bone, yeah, so. And it go through your body jar, go down in your leg, and, um, and you stiff up and you can't move. Mimosa pudica of what I call regenerative properties of a sciatic nerves. An extract administer in the dose of 1.6 milligram operationally every four every four day or up to 120 days basically um, 60 days at two months so that's like three months it shows um, experimental injury of sciatic nerves exhibit 30 to 40 percent I have result in the process of regeneration of the sciatic nerves as compared to the hydrocortisone group so taking this plant for sciatic nerves you need at least three months to regenerate but as we say it's one plant so also you still have a clinic gut to get the result from this plant so but it's a very positive plant we're talking about for those who don't know uh, everybody must know shima maka we don't need to show it but it's very good also antidepressant action as we say is very good for depressing central nervous system because of the serotonin or the melatonin to make people sleep also good for epilepsy or they call it seizure or motor ataxia also hyperglycemic which is high blood pressure diuretic formula that is when it increases the volume of your urine and make you go peep enough fastest way to get out um Waste anti fertility activity, mm -hmm. they use it in India for that purpose. I think they use the root, yes. Consecutive days, estrocycle reproductive hormones, prolactin, estradiol, progesterone, a number of liters produced were studied in the boat control and extract administration group by using standard methods. So basically, they must say we kind of slow down the eggs, they make them can collect too much of the semen to make you get product <laughs> pregnant. But you know, for breed, don't stop on a pregnancy, you know. But outside of that, yes, yes, powerful, powerful plant. Ross, so it is a fighter of disease. But because of the SOD, which is superoxide dismutase, we are dealing with um, antioxidant. So in other words, it's an anti-aging plant. We're talking about shema maca. Anti-venom is when fatty like a scorpion or bees or anything or venom bite you up. This is very good. Anti-microbial, which is another powerful thing for blocking out them parasites and germs and gram positive bacteria and you name it anti-fungal activity mm -hmm. anti-viral mrsa is one of the most dangerous um virus i think you find that most in the hospitals isap is one of them specific plants for mrsa and all other viruses whether like ac for this gun or herpes or any one of them it is good for them. This also, Shema Maka, is also good. So when you link up them plant, they like that, you get some good, good, good benefit. Yes, traditional use is a hematuria um, pile, diarrhea, dysentery, ulcers, wound, you know, female genital tract. 
and also male genital, which is your genital system. Yes, you know, the urinary system itself, sinus, fistula, which is another um, rectum problem. Similar plan, I'm calling him cassia fistula, which is good for those type of things. The root of the shema marker is good for leprosy, stomach worms, venereal diseases, always viruses, insect bite, insomnia, nervousness, and pies again. So a wide array of disease come up underneath this plant that this plant eat, but you have to take it up to three consecutive months. Three consecutive months you have to drink it for. And the, the study not done, we don't even, we don't reach no way, but we could tap it yourself. As we say, anything you miss, you can go upon the page, our TikTok page, and click on the YouTube link, and it will carry to the page, and we ask us to subscribe there. We want to start doing some live on YouTube. We don't know yet live on YouTube yet. I think we want about 50 more subscribers for me we can do live round there. All right, we could jump into the questions of what we say questions and answers and see who and what to ask. Yes, you man, give us some likes. Just tap up the likes them. Tap up the likes them. Tap the phone and bring in the likes them now. Tap the phone. We could jump into the questions. We are about sixty people here. Yes, I am late, but I am still here. Did want to come in, but kind of feel like a cranky sometime. You know, sometimes when I run a morning time and keep myself fit and I don't get asleep. Last night, I don't know how I take, no, I kind of pause my sexuality for a while. Because, you know, you try to build spiritually. I don't remember how I take to write last night. Keep me up. Couldn't sleep as I want to. From I wake up back, it's about 2 o'clock. That's it till about 4. Can't sleep. You know, so something kind of disturbed. But me I go see, me I kind of do some reminiscing for say, wow, wow. You know, me take one new capsule me just create, what me call it. Gate, I think, Gate 3TS. Me have to look back on the label. Me send it go get a lady. Cause she said she had taken on a whole, she had do some research and she had we forget her master's, doctorate, and bachelor's, but the memory now click and she now remember fast. And the woman sent me a request so long, and all me I try to make this capsule, I can't make it. It's like every time if you go start to have no energy. Until one day, the spirit said, You can't make the capsule now. It's like me extract information from the cosmic lab, but I don't realize. So when we finally go make the capsule, put all of the planning together. It's not like me a fight for it. Me just go down and put the planning together. You know, dehydrate me for dehydrate and put it together and say, all right. Me don't know it all the work, you know. Because the spirit said me for go make it now. So, a week and a half ago, me call her and me say, oh, I'm going to hear from you all the capsule. And she said, my God, man, it's amazing. This capsule is amazing. Amazing. Now she can take on more things. The original name of the capsule, the similarity was Gate. But I think I, I named it Gate. I'm going to look back on the lady, label. Gate 3T5S something. It's just an abbreviation for something. And I remember I said I take three last night, but I also would take four of my intellect. I mean, I don't know if I didn't keep me up, you know. But she's telling me that it's worked perfectly for her brain. For me, the brain can retain things and she have the timing no that is our report to me got me check up on people when me make new product and me give it or sell it to them i want to know what i do to them body so i ask them i have people when me give them some product free i say all right me go give this just tell me what i go on with the body take it before me also and take it after me and observe and tell me what i go on well the first result from this very first capsule is excellent so now we're going into sale part now where we're going to start sell it. Now we don't need three or four people, you know. The one good enough. From when you know it's by your body, you're there, we know you're not telling a lie. So, all right, but I take three last night, so I don't know what really go on. <laughs> but we're going to take three more tonight again and see. So 
that's a beautiful thing so far. I'm going to jump in on the question. Yes, good evening. Bless up yourself. Good night. Yes, good evening. Good night, right there. Good night. Yeah, man. It's been a while. I'm not getting any notification from you. Charlotte Johnson, I don't know. I don't know why the notification now come around. Why them not say nothing come here? You know? Something must say I go on then, man. I, I, I come on Thursdays and Sunday mostly. If I get the chance, I will come in at the week. But most times it's just Thursdays and Sunday. I should have been here from about 6.30. But I kind of feel like a cranky. You know, so I just, all right, let me move out the feeling and jump on. All right. Where can I find bugle weed plant in Jamaica? It's normally, it always the and what they call sappy era. Normally, as we're in fall for a long time, it usually grow up in my yard. But you can find it anywhere else. It's sappy, it grow enough. Or try the health food store. Try proactive health food stores. Then we'll have it. They will have it. Sister Kelly, me die in a wild one. Pain, pretty old night. Pain, a kill in the hand and shoulder. Well, as we said, get the cascara back. Start the cleaning. Start up the cleaning. As he already talked about Shimamaka and the adrenal glands. Yes, you can drink that. Just drink the green juice. Also, it's good. And it's also a central nervous system depressant. Drink all Bavarian tea. While um, antidote. There's a plant. We don't know if you can find it. It was a very good plant. If it's a pain or killer, we call them Kotong. It's a fern. They call it bird nest fern. It grows in a tree. I think we call it Albizia. Need us, need us, but then call it. I think Jamaican people call it cotton plant, but it's a firm, it long so it grows in a tree. So we don't know if we can find that, but it's a very good, good plant to move waste and toxins out of the body. Cotton plant, yeah, Jamaican people call it cotton, it's a cotton firm, leaf long so they call it birdness fern, it grows in a tree. Vervine, good drink, call it vervine. Guinean weed. Can't grow on him. Guinean weed is an excellent painkiller, but you have to drink them for a long time while purging the gut. And please, pretty old, you have to stop eating the wrong food. Them. Greetings, my brother. Bless up, bless up yourself, man. Yeah, man. Can you repeat what did you say about high blood pressure, please? The um, shema maca leaf, you can blend it and drink it. Get the green juice and drink to help with your blood pressure. Outside of that, we normally prescribe cascara bar, bitter wood and rice bitters for the blood pressure also. You can boil them three plants together and take like a cup, two cups per day for your blood pressure. And also you can drink the green juice of the leaf of life. The leaf of life. Oh, la, but that's good too, you know, yeah. But we have to talk about the shema maca for your blood pressure. What is the green juice, please? The green juice is when you blend anything with green and get the green juice. But you don't want to do that with every plant. Shema maca is good. The leaf of life is good. Stinging nettle, if you put stinging nettle in a warm water, it kills the scratch. And you blend it, it's good. These are what we call them chlorophyll. Give me some likes and tap in some likes, tap in some likes. Those are chlorophyll plants. The YouTube page is on um, the TikTok page. If you go to the TikTok page, you will see a Twitch link and a YouTube link. You just click on the YouTube link. And you can write to the YouTube platform. I will ask you to subscribe while you are there. And you can watch this live again if you miss anything. All 
right? Dizziness, so we were talking about dizziness a while ago. Motor ataxia and coordination or what do you call them? Um, convulsion. So the leaf, the shima maca leaf is good for dizziness. Likewise, vervine is good for dizziness also. Vervine is good for any form of nerves issue. Likewise, shima maca leaf. So you can drink the shima maca leaf green, but you can make the vervine dry and you drink it as tea. Shima maca leaf, you can take like two two cups and one cup. I know. Take like 15 ml three times for the day. You know, tomorrow you need that. It is good to find man. Nash, greetings. What can remove stone from the gallbladder? Um hydrangea. Hydrangea is a good plant to remove stone. Get the hydrangea for that. And also you can get what they call bead baka leaf. Bead baka leaf is another plant that is good. Bead baka leaf. You can get the bead baka leaf for that purpose. And hydrangea. You can get the hydrangea at the El Food Store. Try proactive. Um, and you can get it there. It's very good. It will help with the stone and if you can get the Jamaican bead back a leaf, we call it Chamba bitters. Chamba bitters. Chamba bitters. Chamba bitters. I ginger. Alright, Charlotte. Yeah, them be good for you. Cleansing the blood. You need burdock. You need yellow duck. You can get these two plants very effective if you put them together they create a synergy yellow duck and gentian who is it is it millicent yellow duck and gentian there's so many plants to cleanse the blood millions i know maybe about 40. if you get yellow duck and gentian g-e-n-t-i-a-n -I, I think i saw them pronounce it gentian Gentian and yellow duck, and you just boil them together and bitter, miserable. But in terms of cleaning the blood, it's beautiful. Another plant to clean the blood is bitter wood and also basida bark. You just boil them plant there. Yes. Shingles is herpes, you know. Just to let you know. Shingles, chicken pox herpes the same thing so you need um cat's claw and isap cat's claw i think i have cat's claw but uh, yeah i would have to get some isap but if you can find those at the health food store but you want them to be fresh but you can try cat's claw isap herpes or shingles is a nasty disease you need months we line a package, we have to line a package for people of herpes. Package, you know, one plant is an evil sickness. Shingles, you know, chicken pox was like the first stage, then shingles, then herpes, or then herpes, then shingles. But these sickness, the dangerous. Dangerous? Yeah. Cat's claw and isap is two good plants to start with. Cat's claw and isap are also bitter with the rice bitters. Them bitter plant they fight those virus. Cat's claw is sap. Bitter with rice bitters. Boil them all together and take like a cup or two. You know, yes. Bless up yourself. Bless up yourself. Bad sinusitis mean your office tap or that eat the ice cream, the cold food, the ice. The dairy product, the oily food, the gravy, the fry product, the gluten them and the yeast food them like the bread and the biscuit them, all the sodas them, citric acid and oxides, all of them soda there and drinks, box drinks and buckle drinks and 
the sugar content them I take spell the sugar them it was dangerous if you can get off of those things the sinus will go away and you can just simple drink some neem and rice bitters together neem and rice bitters neem and rice bitters neem and rice bitters put them together and make tea two cups per day also you get some cascara bath now clean your gut with some rhubarb so rhubarb and cascara bark together help to clean the digestive system rhubarb and cascara bark you can put that boy in there if you can find him because slippery m oh yes yeah, a nice plant slippery m rhubarb cascara bark just like what name slippery m slip out things slippery m rhubarb cascara bark together cleanse the abdominal cavity and then yes you get the neem and the rice bitters for the immune system to boot it up for liquid sinusitis but the only way to get rid of it you have to stop eating food and not cause it the blood needs some comfort if you get some burdock and some yellow duck that will be good burdock yellow duck blood get that neem and the rice bitters immune and limp and for the abdominal cavity you get some cascara bark and a nice lip M and rhubarb put all three together and boil them two cups a day don't take all of them on the same day take them on separate days and you'll get some result but only if you discontinue the evil food all right Odette hope you can follow that can you boil rice bitters no rice bitters is not old is a leaf it's rice bitters leaf smiley pea cascara bark together yes you can put them together I will have to send them your number all right if you know the number you do that the number is three five four seventy eight seventy five three five four seventy eight seventy five three five four seventy eight seventy five queenie why well, go on queen mucus in the eyes you need a full clean down did you know that a whole of cook food is what cause matter the moment you eat a lot of cooked food and it from Saint so you see after you go so a matter of cooked food you know the more cooked food you eat the more you eat fast it gives you all type of blurry vision and matter kill you and so you have the sinus side is half a blow or you arc up cold and spit out some of their carving you want to come off tomorrow before you answer calls send me a whatsapp message or a whatsapp text we look through it tomorrow and get back to you you don't want to finish on our bedtime so will you put cook food yeah man if you want to get rid of matter and mucus in your eye you have to change the diet and purge your gut purge lily of the valley is a brain food plant Stinging nettle, what we call them, cowich. Lily of the Valley and cowich. Them two plants is great for your brain. Yes. You just drink them, they like two cups per day. But you have to stop them, there's something them will cause that problem. Purge your belly with the cascara bark and the rhubarb to clean out. Get the input is all guys that don't they say the problem start from and affect the brain all right so mucus in the eyes m is it m2 yes purge man purge stop drinking the sodas the box juices the starch the gluten roll up on meat you know yeah problem everybody don't have the same sickness that was man i said what me chicken and i do me not know it do you something 
you can't escape. It might not get diabetes, but it might get cholesterol or brain problem or you just not gonna escape. That's why you you treat the milk and you'll get the breakfast. No, I eat fruits every day. And if if I cook or sometimes I don't eat for like seven days or fourteen days and then I will eat one cooked meal or four cooked meal for a month. Not all the while that happened. But it happened quite often. You know. Once I have the money for go buy the fruits for a week, I buy it. I mean nobody like don't cook food for a week or two weeks. Woolly power water like it's good to I would tell everybody this. Get a five litre bottle of them angle water with a catching peak or lifespan and take the whole day and drink it. A five litre of um, with a catching peak or lifespan and take the whole day and drink that water. You don't have to force it just you know, every 20 minutes or every 10 minutes, you just have to drink a cup or two. Anything the body can hold and you urinate, you start defecating. By the time it finish, you'll be surprised. You wash your internal world with it. It's marvelous. Butter blood in the end. One of the plants will be no good for buttering Mm, like people get stabbed, chop, shooting, it's bugle weed. Bugle weed, that's what we know it, it does. Bugle weed is good for that. Also, people are postpartum, Bacida bark too. Bacida bark is good for that. Bacida bark, Bacida bark, Bacida bark is good for that. And bugle weed, Lycopus virginicus bugle weed is good for butter blood. Are battering anyway in the body. Greetings. Neem is a panacea. Neem is a panacea. It's good for everything. Something you want to drink, just drink it. What is good to restore the, the gut from antibiotics damage? Well, um, Restore the good from antibiotics. Well, anything we see as antibiotics is anti life. And uh, not in just the guts, normally the liver and the, and the kidney really get that damage mostly. Rice bitters is good. And geographic spaniculata is good. To neutralize any um, damage. On the gut flora, Bacida bark is good, also as a blood and gut food. You know, to cleanse it now, you need cascara bark. To say so that about rice bitters, Bacida bark, cascara bark, three different plants, three different ways you make them. Bacida bark, you boil it by itself, three cups a day. Rice bitters, you make tea, three cups a day. And the cascara bark, you boil it and you take like a cup a day. That's like three different days. Water is ionizer, so it circles the body and works with the immune system. Now that's you have the rice bitters that boost the immune system and the lymph system. When the water comes in, it will boost the immune system because they're going to take the rice bitters to it. The liver getting cleansed, likewise the kidneys. So that can remove, that is if you don't put back none in. You know, Katy, yes, get to work. Can you blend stinging nettle? Yes, you can. But you have to put it in a warm water that's a scratch move. And then you drink it as a chlorophyll. And as you know, chlorophyll is, is a perfume for people who have bad odor. People with them breath stink, what they call all the toasties or them skin smell. You know, people, if you hold up your hand, if you hand go too far, people drop down. <laughs> for for man who have bad odor, it's good to drink. For the women, them who have, for people who do abortion, and them have that real nasty sense. Some of them want to know if they take care of themselves after them do the abortion. 
put on the boy kind of kick. And it kind of, when you want to get it under control, it will give up problems. So that is the, the scent. That plant can kill that scent. If you blend the stinging nettle, put it in warm water and blend it, that green juice, any woman who do a bash and then have that scent, that odor, drink it. It will kill the scent. It is one of the most powerful perfume there is. I could say a cologne that kills scent. Chlorophyll do that. Chloro mean green and fill means to regenerate. So drink it. Drink up that chlorophyll. Everybody can drink it. You don't need a special prescription to drink that. You have um, yeast infections have its tinge also. Also, yes, young girls want to know if you take care of the something when it kind of cheese you up and smell up. Yeah, that's your, 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 your medicine right there, chlorophyll. You have some ladies who, from experience, I remember I was at a yard. <laughs> in Clarendon one time and you know it was like a little tenement yard and three girls live on the house. We live on the front part and them part stop and try them live. You know them, them have them babies so one day them mother come down me and them mother cousin and say, Lord Jesus Christ me couldn't ask you so look how much draws round here. Fifty a draws. We don't have a beard me so now. <laughs> the mother have cussed the pity with them. But them call the mother for come Baby sick at him got a party and the mother come. Fifty had panty lay down there. None of them now wash. But she noticed some show and her run. <laughs> so she said, one of the beard, one of the girls said, What is wrong with your mom? Having a show is of the past. We have wipes now. I'm like, damn. <laughs> wipes. You know, so you know, if you don't shower, you will smell. You, you gotta take a shower. You know, so chlorophyll is what keeps down that scent, that odor, where the allotosis are the body just to produce that nasty scent. You know, chlorophyll is effective, and stinging nettle is one of those things that benefit you in killing any form of odor. Can you drink cascara bark, rice bitters, and rice bitters, and rice bitters? Or oh, two rice bitters they have the grandma queen. Can you drink cascara bark, rice bitters and rice bitters? Well, maybe if you say another plant, but what a basida bark, no basida, what a bitter wood or um, neem. Yeah, you can. Drink it say for a month. Takes if you have to go a month, take smaller dose, like say seven tablespoon or nine tablespoon. A night, and when you wake up, you take another nine tablespoons. Drink a lot of water during the process, you know. And you drink it till you get that result where you want to get. Some people drink for three weeks and stop for a week or two weeks and then go back. Yes, blessed love. Yeah, well, you have to take care of the constitution. Me a big man still, you know. Yeah, now I'm going to throw grey, but. A long time I born. Maybe not like some people, but yeah, good while now. And we find out if you don't have health, you don't really have nothing. If you eat less food, you have more energy. For sure. If you eat less food, you have more energy. One meal is good and you eat a whole heap of fruits around it. Whole heap of fruits. Fruit because fruits break down fast. And Senegal bar to my waist come out. You know? So that is what I practice. More than likely to be a Britannia and I'll do it hard for live as a Britannia and in a day in a cities like the Implacia. That's why a Britannia and living in the Alps, meaning in the mountains. And then get the fresh air and fresh water. You know, you have people upon this planet who don't them not eat for survive. Them live off of oxygen. You can if your cells them get clean and the mitochondria are fire, your body will go up. You know, full energy. You know, as the Bible says, in a man shall not live by bread alone. 
But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Most High, the word of the Almighty is life. You know, so trust me. Can you use rainwater? Filter it. Use it up. Filter it. They might hold up a filtering machine you now so you can buy one and put it to your house. Moringa, I don't study Moringa. We know it's a good plant, but we don't study it. Yes, good evening, bless the love. Fibroid and cis. Guinean is a good start. Guinean and bitterwood and onion. Um, dark blood and vervine is good. Put all of them together. Guinean, bitterwood, onion, dark blood, vervine. Boil all of them together. Guinean, bitterwood, vervine, dark blood, onions. Just peel onion and cut it up, maybe six. A handful of each. Put enough water and boil it strong. Left it in the pot till the next morning. Take a cup or two per day. Fire bread. Yes. You know, and then you can um, get some cascara bark for the digestive system. Yeah man, we have we have things for fire bread. We have things for fire bread. Them fire bread, you know, I think the chicken we wanna eat nowadays. The calcification it give. Remember now, you know, fire bread is like a baby. Fire bread is like the devil's child. Remember, trust me. It kick and it move. So you have to stop eat chicken, what you call it chicken. When you have fire bread or breast lump or tumor, yeah. addition overall, you just have to let go the chicken, the pork. Oh God, the pork is so nasty. It gives you so much parasite in your brain and in your body. I see people throw, don't you deceive me, I watch a video of some people that throw Pepsi Cola pan, pan sliced pork. And you want to so you rub them and wiggle out and come out. I'm like, my God. I stopped eating from me 11 years old. Feeling pain from your knee and from your hip. Sound like a sciatic nerves. As we're looking at one plant, we call him um, Mimosa Pudica, Shema Maka. Such a good plant to use, Shema Maka. Very good plant. You can just get the leaf and juice it and take like 15 ml three times a day. Shema Maka leaf. Get it and juice it and drink the leaf juice three times a day, like 15 ml. So 15 ml, you know, them little tincture back like this would have been about 30 ml. So would have been half of that. And you drink that. Even if you want to drink like 30 ml, that good. Do it two times per day. And then get the cascara bark and the rhubarb and the plant when they slip for M. Cascara bark, rhubarb, slippery em, and boil them together and drink them for your gut. Clean the gut. Sciatic nerves, which it sounds like to me, is an evil disease. It will paralyze you, cripple you. It almost do me that. We have to fight. Feet don't mash me up, so get to work and. Uh, Drink up. <laughs> Clean out the belly, but at the same time, Miss Sanders, Miss Sanders, Miss Sanders, you have to make sure, see, rice and peas and chicken away this evening have to come back out. <laughs> yeah, I'm just happy the type of way there. Drink a lot of soup. No white flour and no coke and no yam and dashi and just some vegetable and chocho pumpkin. That's it. And then you know big meal plan anyway. Blessed love. Yeah, Donald. Yeah, man. No, if you sweat, you know if you want to stop sweat. If you are sweat on the arm, it's good. Perspiration is good, at least the pores are open and the waste are come out. I'll have to just try to sweat some more. Mm -hmm. 
energy you have to clean the body man. if you want energy you have to visit bathroom when the body get light you get more energy the bigger is even a six foot six feet six feet people are like 200 pounds them way yeah but if them weigh 200 pounds but the waist not stick with them them full of life if you're five foot you're not supposed to weigh over 140 pounds people are five foot three inches and weigh 300 pounds that just no work out you know you have to drop the waist the moment the bathroom 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 for all the money I got a bathroom straight just a bathroom no bad about it so too much things if you come out a whole month just a bathroom, 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 defecate, urinate, defecate, urinate, urinate, defecate, then you start sweat. Once you say, like when I drink coconut water, and as I drink it, say, whole of me full of water, my face, my head, be kind of come back out through my pores. That means the skin now start get clean. We have a bathroom it out. That's how you get energy. It's the food will hold you against the energy. It will hold you your energy. You know, create no blue, new blood vessel. Um, per day, them say you need about 500 million, them call it angiogenesis, and they have anti geogenesis. Anti -geogenesis. So, we don't have that supply you now. I produce new blood per day for run the motor. You go, yeah, you go sluggish. So, go to the bathroom, man. If you want energy, visit the bathroom. Don't be afraid of it. Let go the waste. Tracy, you uh, want to build up a little bit after, <laughs> after childbirth, you know, the sexual feelings. Well, um, Damiana is a good plan to start with. Damiana, we call it Rambo Dashalang in Jamaica. Also, the Catalyst, which is the Shemo Lady, is good too. Shemo Lady is also a libido plant. Um, so you drink, make, make juice out of the shame old lady, like the leaf, yes, and um, the rum go dash along, make tea, three cups per day, vervine tea, three cups per day, and then you can put sorosy and basida bark as a, you know, a symbiosis, a hatacha. Um, Basila bark and sauce, boil them together and drink three cups per day. So, not on the same day. So, you have Basila bark, sauce, one day, three cups. Vervine, next day, three cups. Um, Shimamaka, the juice. Very good. And if you consume them juices there, them tea down juice. Yeah, it will clean out the afterbirth for sure. And also, if you want to rise a libido and yeah, do your thing, it will work. It will work. Artism, but well, I don't even know much about artism, but when I tell most people, the guys sometimes, sometimes they mute are exceptional, but they more say so them no, unless they have symptoms where they might double all over the place and that different, okay, I understand that, but if they you just, enough of them artists, you would not fool, you know, much couple of them, I'm real, I say, but I don't know an idiot picking them, yeah. they just look a little bit different, but you know, means to them stupid. Vervine is a good start, because the vervine of the, um, the potential for both the liver and the kidney, for make the brain function good. You can add, um, one sure plant for sure, at least two. Guinea and weed work on your time cell. So it's like a warm organizer for your brain. And then sarsa pearl is another powerful plant. If you drink sarsa pearl, make him drink sarsa pearl for six months, it make the brain get effective. So vervine, sarsa pearl, guinea and weed. But give them them on different times. You know, you can give them in a um, tablespoon boil them different you know vervine is tea sauce pearl you have to boil it and you can give him like a half a cup per day i make him drink one cup for the day 
in a, in a two, two goal. Guinean is very strong, but when a child young, when a, when a child a grow, them time excel active, so they're more loving and caring and receptive. At least I should think that way. That I know if they don't get brutal still, but when they're about nine and ten, then the, the brutality not develop. I think them start produce semen and egg at thirteen or twelve, and once them start produce semen and egg. At 13, them start, them life start move to another stage. That's the best time to capture them. Best time to pull out one of them start, just young still. But if you miss the first seven age, you can catch them before they reach the next seven, which is 30, 12, and 13, 11, 12, 13. Where them, them emotion, them feeling, them love, them compassion, and generosity, they right this up. You know, them time excel, what I'm calling the time was gland, you know, them endocrine system. An animal, what we call Guinean, keep it active and the brain will get sharp. So, Guinean root tea is good, um, vervine tea is good, and also the great and famous sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla is good. Make them drink that three different days, it will help you. Just no pies in the mood, the pies in food. Chamba bitters, OB. Chamba bitters is good for the kidney. Chamba bitters, chamba bitters. Blessing, blessing. Michibu, cascara bark, good. El food story, find it. Tuna is a very good chromium food for your pancreatic gland. And it's also a neutralizer for pain. All people back then would have peel it, cut it up, and put it in um, coconut water and drink it. But it's very good. It's slipper M, um, the same as budge gum, the red tree. It's a red tree, but I don't know if budge gum is one of the names. Maybe it is, I don't know. But it's a red tree. But yeah, Basi Dabak, which is a red tree, I have. Slipper M was just under that red tree. But if you ask the Bushman them for Slipper M, they will know. Are you just um just Google it and look what it looks like. Slipper M. The bark of it, yes, in a Jamaica, the bark has some like a reddish. It will have, it will have come like willow tree or what we call a pine tree in a Jamaica. Yeah. You just want the bark. Just ask in a bushman feet, man. And then we. Then we can come and give. Alright, what well, do you know? So, hold on, we just got one hour. Yeah, I just one hour almost. Damn, I'm going to take some of my guys and soon go on two hours. I just one hour I'm going in the man. Half a sweat, man. It's a, it's a must. If you don't have sweat, you'll come like you don't live. <laughs> you have to camp, you know, just like when you watch a, a brand new car and you see drivers, boom, you notice the you know, smoke is like some water come through the exhaustion pipe. It's clean. You know, get contaminated yet. You know, sweating make your skin get clean. We have a powerful formula, we we'll call them 90C1. The more that is, you, 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 you drink, or the more your body get clean, or the more your, your skin look clean and nice. The, the, that formula what we have is one of our number one formula what we have in our Lion Lag as herbal product. 
remember me tell you, powerful. It make you sweat and it make the skin get clean. It clean up the internal world and make you can go to bathroom, urinate and defecate. One apart, I don't know how one apart. I mean, center part. Center part is good. Center part is good. Poor circulation is blood stain. Whereas we are saying, you can use yellow duck and gentian. Jamaica, you can get sassy pearl and basida bark. Sassy pearl and basida bark. Um, if you can get yellow duck and gentian at the health food store, them, them two are good too. You boil them together. If you can get sassy pearl and basida bark, I have them, I don't have the gentian and yellow duck, but I have basida bark and also sassy perla in tea farm but people, but people we sell them to people to cleanse them blood we have a whole heap of blood cleanser product because we know that blood is the life as the bible says and i have given it to you as an atonement for your soul so we have a whole heap of blood plant we can definitely buy and if you can find them it's good that's why we give you options and you drink them month, two months, three months, clean up yourself. So you're rubbing your with castor elf guard bottom, Michibo. Tell me if it work. Tell me if it work. Spider vein. Well, spider vein come just from contaminated blood still now. Blue blood, uh, you see them look green or bluish like or uh, some form of dark color and them look like a bump, a clogging, clotting that take place. And them have to clean the venous system contaminated. Quarko bush is a good start. And you see them cotton plant with them call them um, needles. Jamaican people call that fern. It's a fern where um, fern longbow. So let's see what it look. Bird nest fern. That fern growing a tree. It moves blockage. Let's see what it's a bird nest fern. Bird nest fern. A splendous needles, them call it. In tree, I'm missing a grown tree. Image don't look too good. general looks so good oh. so if you look on this is a common tree a common plant in Jamaica birdness fern but this is a plant where people with elephantitis, it work. Ask all your questions right here, like how they ask now. Once you come off of the platform, anybody want to call, lengthy conversation, your book consultation. That is why we are here right now to answer as much questions as we can. The number of the people who want book consultation are want by product. You know, if you want. If you're sick bad, you need to do consultation. But if you me or you can always text me and voice note me and tell me say this you're sick with and then we can look about a package for you and make you get it to start your healing. Alright, but with that so now, yeah. So this plant, bird nest fern, you can get for them spider vein. It's clogging a take place. Clotting a take place, yeah, clog up and a clot up. 
Basi the bark also is good. Quaku bush, them that blood plant is where you can just drink a tea. Your first time here. Yes, we speak about the um, fire bride. As we say, you can use Guinean, a handful of each Guinean, bitterwood, onion, vervine, dark blood. Guinean, bitterwood, onions. You can cut up like six onions. Guinean, bitterwood, onions, dark blood, vervine, a handful of each and boil them together and take like two cups you have to boil them well strong take like two cups per day and you get some cascara bark some cascara bark clean down the gut you take out two cups of that per day too. take them on two different days those can help you to the fire bride but you know, seeking is the main perpetrator and meat overall in the firebird world. So you have to definitely low seeking. It's hard for Lego seeking still. And your ox still and you know your turkey neck and you know your gizzard and your liver where you eat and your chicken foot and <laughs> you name it. Yeah, but those are the food that give them firebride and then firebride becomes so goddamn evil. That same formula for the fire bride is it, Lana. That same formula for the fire bride can work. Guinean, bitter wood, both six onions cut up, peel and cut up, dark blood, vervine, a handful of each. Boil them strong and take like two cups per day. That can help. Mm -hmm. We have, we have, yeah, we need to get some dark blood. Yeah, we need to get some dark blood. I suppose to set up a tea, fire bride, some fire bride package for a few people. I'm living in that time. I remember some of the um, 20 plants that we may forget right now, tomorrow. Yeah, but them look can help and look at the skin. I don't know much about key lights. I have not studied key lights yet. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, Bruce. I'm a bridge and say, Yo, you can't study all the things for me. I know I'm going to get to it. I know God, I have a similar one right there, so I'm from your picnic. When it does, just, your skin just grow and it just causes a big lump. You know? Yes, man, slippery rim is in Jamaica a lot. Glaucoma, good problem. Yes, you have to just write us so. You have to clean him up, clean up the belly, purge him, purge him, purge him, purge him till the eye come back. And also, you have to um, lily of the valley and stinging nettle for the brain. Them phone you will give body eye guy, give me body eyes too. I mean, just to me take all the supplement, mineral supplement. For me, yeah. And right now, I need one. Uh, because sometimes I don't even too many depth, I don't have so much work for this. Sometimes I don't even remember to take my supplement. But the supplement is good, like Irish Marsh and Bladder Rock is good for the brain, for the eyes, and the teeth, and the nerves overall. But if, you, if I like food, yeah, yeah, damage, you know, for purge. And even a purge often, you know, your eyesight restore. You know, but it lights them on the phone, no joke, they may miss with the eyes. You know, that's why they see them have eyeglass and would like a, a like a blue light in it for protect eyes from um because the, the man they make the, the phone them them evil, you know, because they could have put a, a black screen with the eye, but them give this white light because they didn't want it, yeah, for damage. Oh god, mankind. Chaja. So we did talk about insomnia, Kelly. Um, as I'm saying, we need melatonin, vervine, shema maca, valerian root, 
passion flower. Passion flower, Valerian root, Shimmer Maca, Vervine. Them now, you can find basically maybe all of them in the L food store. Shimmer Maca, Vervine. Basically, we find them there, but still. Shimmer Maca, Vervine, Passion flower, Valerian root. Maybe the only thing you want to find, the Vanilla Light, which is the Valerian root. The Valerian root, you can find that in your L food stores. Such a good plant. You drink June plum, cucumber, guava, carrot. No, carrot no good. Also, it's a little like mommy good, mommy juice. How is this? We are living in a luxury if you have all of them things in your yard. You're not supposed to sick. A poly. June plum, cucumber. Go over, take out the carrot. Like, like mommy, you know. Mommy, I want my favorite fruit, you know. When I see my sell it in the market, it's always good. Have some good juice, them they are drink. Yes, uh, we can ship the package. We can ship the package overseas. Yeah, man, no problem. We ship everything overseas. Bladder, rice bitters is good for your bladder. I saw the, the um, Shema Maka. Shema Maka is good for your bladder also. Anything in your genital, yes, it's good for it. All right. So, we have a couple minutes to go. Irish Marsh, good man. Irish Marsh, good for everything. Anyth anything on blockage in the art, please, sir? Uh, well, you know what? You have to take the pressure off of your art by cleaning out your belly. And then you get um, the art medicine. Them is Lily of the Valley. Convalara Majalis. Lily of the Valley. Lily of the Valley. If you see this plant, please let me know. I am looking for it to buy. This is how the lily of the valley look. If you see it, I want to buy. But that is our look. It's a very powerful brain plant. And it's a very powerful art plant. But most time you have to take the weight off of your belly if you get the art action. It art has strain. Garlic. Garlic has too much what them call allicin. You have to be careful of garlic, you know. Garlic kind of good food. Jamaican people use it for take care of them blood pressure, yes, but as it comes down, say it causes chaos because of a lot of allicin in it, which is an evil chemical. So, garlic is not a good food, Kelly, be careful. Constipation. Um, you know, this constipation I get out and get the cascara back, you know. And we can fix up a little cheap package for you. No one say when you have constipation, the body starts to poison. Mm -hmm. The body starts to poison when you have constipation. But get the cascara back and put rhubarb with it. Make a nice juice out of them, boil them strong, and see if you can get at least a cup to two cup a day. Yeah, to clean out that gut, but don't eat the constipated food anymore. My, you washed it for many years, met into an accident from she was a baby. I don't mean, understand the question. She losing her eye. 
Mm. Well, if the eye gone, you know, <laughs> there's a plant when you show said that Jamaica then call it Silandine. And the history of that plant is that birds who have the little baby birds way up on the mountain top. And if another bird will go in there, we try to eat them and pick out one of them yai. The bird, the mama bird, will have fly and find this plant, then call it Silandine, and will have chai it up in the mouth until it produces juice and will have drop it in the little bird yai into the grub at the eye. I see them sell that plant in an health food store, Silandine, but they have it dry. Because I come from overseas dry. We don't know of that plant in Jamaica, but that is one of them plants we know grow back things. It regenerates and reconstructs. Yes. Very good. Very, very good. Very good. Very good. Um, but um, rice, crunches crispus and uh, slim lax, what we call them bladder rock, is too good plant for brain. They must also help to reconstruct the lady with the wash lady. Good something to feed for a couple months. Neem and rice bitters for the cholesterol. Neem and rice bitters tea. Yes, she lost her sight. But if an accident take her eyesight, um, Michibu, then that sound like a that happen. Sound like an accident. Makes you feed from the bladder rock. I know she can get some corella. Um, sea plant overall. Those are the regenerator. I will call out some sea plant, Michibu, and you write them down. Um, Sea plants are the regenerators in the herbal world. Michibu, write them down. Never spell them for you. And you write them down. Seaweed. Um, all of them are there. So what are they? All right. Wakame. Wakame. So that's a sea plant. These are what they call sea vegetable. Wakame. Wakame. Then you have Dulce. So Wakame is double A K A M E. Double A K A M E. Wakame. One. Dulce. A Dulce. D U L S E. Michibu Awapia, right? D U L S E. Dulce, so you have wakame, double A K A M E, wakame, Dulce, D U L S E, Arame, A R A M E, Arame, A R A M E, Arame, Ijiki, H I J I K I, Ijiki, H I J I K I, Ijiki. Nori, N O R I. Nori, N O R I. Nori, N O R I. So we have Wakame, Dulce, Arami, Ijiki, and Nori. These are sea plants when people have them type of problems there. They help reconstruct things in their body. Kelp is also. Another one, Crunjus Crispus Irish Marsh, perfect, and Bladderack. So, Kelp, K E L P. Then you have 
Chron Josh, which is um C H R O N C H R O N Chron Josh D R U S C H R O N D R U S as is Chron Josh, and then you have Crispus C R I S P U S C R I S P U S that is Crispus. So you have Chron Josh Crispus. All right, that is Irish Marsh, you know, but that the, you want the right version because it may be purple or it may be green or in between yellow. That type of look you want for seat with. It grew like some like a seat, some like a tree on the rock. Then you have bladder rock, B L A D D E R W R A C K, B L A D D E R. Double R A C K bladder rock. These are sea plants that is effective. Everybody who just eat them and drink them, them very powerful for the entire human constitution. So, Michibu makes you feed on them. Numbness. Numbness are like clogging. Blood works, gut and blood works. So get the rice bitters and drink three cup of tea per day. That's it. Rice bitters. Antigraphilide is good. Tea, it miserably bitter but powerful. No. Yeah, we spell them out for you already, Miss Michibu. Blood, not, not the R O C K, double R A C K, rock. Celandine. No, man, we are at the sea plant. We give you. Um, sea plant, then we just give you the quiet. So I hope you all have the right spelling. You can't find enough of them in a town. I see them in a some health food store a town. You know, Wakame, Dulce, Arami, Ijiki, and Nori. Wakame, Dulce, Arami, Ijiki, Nori. It's Irish Marsh, which is Crunchus Crispus, and Bladderack. Those are the plants people have only for dangerous yard problem to feed pan. Constant for months, it does have beat them. Vervine, Rambo, Dashalang, Shimamaka nerves. Vervine, Rambo, Dashalang, Shimamaka nerves. Vervine, Rambo, Dashalang, Shimamaka nerves. Tea, put all three of them together and make tea. All right, so I hit that for Sunday night until, you know, if we can come in another week, we will come, but most likely a Thursday again, you know. So the number for, before we got the number, as we say, we want people to, um, we are going to put up this live on our YouTube page. So the YouTube link is right there. Just go on the TikTok page and see the YouTube link, click on it. And it flick you over to the YouTube page and we ask you to subscribe on our YouTube page. We need a page for grow because people need to hear about the healing. So if we have a hundred people, we ask a hundred people to go over there and subscribe to our YouTube page. We need it for grow one the message to spread across the globe. That's everybody can you are going and we're not so big on YouTube yet. Because people subscribe very slow. So we're asking all the people, if a hundred or hundred and people like a guy YouTube, if a thousand like go along over there, go subscribe and make the page get broad. We want to start doing live also, but you can't do live till you get 1,000 subscribers. That is what we're so far. And YouTube page. So we're going to put this live up there now. 
and so whatever you want to miss out on you can body go watch it all right so we ask you to follow this page to like this page make the tiktok page blow up you know missus some people of course tiktok say tiktok this and tiktok that more i know which platform now have bad and have the good that's how the world run there's two kind to everything there's two sides you know this is my phone back see front here <laughs> so you know life is what it is you're not gonna stop even listening at the earth you can't you can't stop it you don't have the power to you can just do your best live good somebody gonna live bad there's two sides to everything and we can't do nothing about that you have good people and you just have evil people so people come on tiktok and then do outrageous things for make them money who am i we are not their judge make them do them thing when them time come for them get them wake up call they better take it we're not perfect as the bible said there's no man that on the planet that is perfect we have all all of we just drink the junkin wine and we drunk so we do wrong things just have to pray the almighty said there's always a chance to get forgiveness when you do something wrong, if you find yourself like how oh, I, I and I find myself, I'm going to start behaving myself. I'm going to do things so positive now. You know? Not say you know, have negative thoughts come and the whole time we just come because Babylon set so much trap for you. As you jump out of one, 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 you want to jump up and say, yeah, good, when you, when you take a step back, you find yourself in a one, another one. So you have to be careful. But you know, TikTok, um, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of them have negative and all of them have good. It's just really what you do with the platform. We don't have to judge no one. No. Because we will be judged. You know, people that will do what they want, you just can't stop that. If you're in a, a man can't, you can't say, you need to rob the man. You tell him. Yeah, so no care what the evil I'm gonna do, you just come come to feel good. Like what we are doing now, we just come preach and talk about herbs and say, follow herbs, take herbs as you may get well. Simple. Yeah, so YouTube, we want it to grow because we want the people to hear the good news with the TikTok. So we ask you to go to the YouTube page, click on the link, and please subscribe. We want at least a couple million over there. Then we know so we things that read fast. We must not make only evil prevail. <laughs> so, we must make righteousness also uh, prevail. Damn, I will put on the cologne there. My God, the cologne the trunk, man. Mm -mm. So we give thanks and we will turn up again Thursday. 354 78 75. 354 78 75. 354 78 75. Send us a WhatsApp text or a WhatsApp voice note.